5 Important Lessons Young People Should Learn from George Washington Born on February 22, 1732, in Pope's Creek, Colony of Virginia, George Washington is a man with accomplishment after accomplishment. The gentleman planter of Mount Vernon voted unopposed as commander-in-chief of the Continental Army, voted unopposed as the president of the Constitutional Convention and the first president United States of America. Washington's legacy remains as one of the founding fathers and for setting a high standard with which American presidents are judged until today. As at the time of his death, Washington's net worth was estimated at $525 million. So how did George Washington become so successful and what can young people learn from him? In this video, we will share with you 5 important lessons young people should learn from George Washington. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Lesson 1. Be possessed with a sense of responsibility Once, while playing and swinging his little hatchet, a six-year-old Washington damaged his father's prized cherry tree. Instead of blaming the slaves who worked on his father's plantation, Washington took responsibility, confessing, I cannot tell a lie. I cut it with my little hatchet. By his early teens, Washington had learned his way through the plantation, growing tobacco plants and raising stock without his father's supervision. This sense of responsibility led Washington's older half-brother, Lawrence, to introduce Washington to Lawrence's father-in-law, Colonel William Fairfax, who provided Washington with a second home and domestic education. By 1749, a 17-year-old Washington received his surveyor's license from the College of William and Mary and became appointed as surveyor of Culpeper. The Lesson for Young People Washington learned never to take the easy way out. One of the simplest things about success is that it starts and ends with you, or rather, taking full responsibility for your own success. If you want to be successful, you need to ditch any excuses and drop the blame game. Set your priorities right and take action to accomplish what you want to do because guess what? Nothing good ever comes easy. Lesson 2. Stay the course of commitment Lawrence died in 1752 and Washington found himself attending the military organized funeral of his older half-brother. The mere sight itself cost Washington shame as he had run away from the surveying party a month after Colonel Fairfax signed him up. So he vowed he would answer the call of duty just like his brother, putting service above self. And serve Washington did to his utmost capacity to the extent that Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, Robert Dinwiddle, promoted him to Adjutant Major. But nothing could prepare a 21-year-old Washington to his first war, the French and Indian War in 1754. Even though Washington achieved his fair share of victories throughout the campaign, it was hit or miss with military tactics. However, his quick thinking rallied his men in desperate times. Through thick and thin, Washington's commitment to his men earned their fierce loyalty. After the fourth Decusney victory of 1758, the grumbled about the Continental Congress supporting them with underpaid wages, inadequate supplies, or delayed reinforcements. Some of Washington's men even considered marching to those no-good delegates in Philadelphia and replaced them with King George Washington. Washington, of course, talked them out of it, for there was no use fighting a war on both fronts. The Lesson for Young People Washington had learned to take responsibility, but now he had to learn how to remain committed to that responsibility. And he did a good job at that. Were he any lesser man, he would have considered letting his men do as they pleased. Rather, 
Washington admonished them to remain committed, keeping their eye on the enemies. Put service above self. As a young person, know that it is alright to accept responsibility. But are you prepared to remain committed? Imagine you are on a weight loss diet. You have accepted the responsibility of living a healthy life. You know there will be temptations. You know you will most likely fail at any time. You know change does not happen overnight. If you remain aware of these potential shortcomings and you do all within your power to avoid them, that's commitment. And it is such steadfastness that defines a successful person. Lesson 3. Be flexible, react, adapt, overcome. In 1775, Washington became the commander-in-chief, uniting all colonist forces, the Continental Army against Britain. The American Revolutionary War had begun. Washington found himself outmatched in all but his ability to stay flexible. Each defeat for Washington, small or great, felt like five steps backward for every step forward. Those times when Washington reiterated he would mentally replay the tactical movements of the British Army, then he will think of a counter to overcome them. On Christmas night in 1776, when his army crossed the Delaware River and attacked the British Redcoats, Washington tasted his first victory. Soon, Washington's string of victories boosted the flagging morale of the Continental Army, the, especially the Battle of Saratoga in 1777, where Washington's subordinates Horatio Gates and Benedict Arnold forced the surrender of British General Burgoyne and his entire 6,200 armies. This David vs Goliath victory impressed the French who finally allied themselves with the Continental Army. During the Siege of Yorktown in 1781, the combined might of the Continental and French armies forced the British into Yorktown, with the Redcoats' backs to the French fleet of warships cutting off escape routes. On that day, October 19, 1781, British Charles Cornwallis and his army surrendered, bringing the war to a close. The Lesson for Young People what Washington achieved during the Revolutionary War was nothing short of outstanding. However, one must remember that Washington in all sense was a farmer, not a man bred for the military. Yet he succeeded where the experienced British generals failed. Those generals operated with a rigid principle of capturing cities, while Washington focused on other factors such as morale and flexibility to achieve an uphill victory. If you want to succeed, you need to learn the art of reacting to change, then adapt and overcome. You should remain open-minded about your chances and strive where others falter. Lesson 4. Let your actions bring success to you Despite his many exploits, Washington wanted a quiet life. However, in 1787, he was asked to head the committee that would draft the new constitution. His outstanding display of leadership and integrity convinced the delegates that he was most qualified to be the nation's first president. But he was unwilling, preferring to leave the governing to others. However so strong was the public opinion that in the 1789 presidential election, Washington received every state's electoral votes, leaving him as the only president in America's history with overwhelming approval. Lesson 5. Leave the world better than you found it Washington's utmost concern was setting a standard for leaders of the US to follow, so he did what he could to operate without bias. Upon leaving the presidential office, he left the nation's affairs with well-managed debts and a circle of capable individuals who could plot the future of US. The Lesson for Young People Most people in the name of self-interest bring a great company to, to ruin. Instead of contributing something to the progress of work, they leech off its gains. As a young person seeking success, 
If you work to make your environment better, wealth will follow. In conclusion, if you are a young person and you want to be successful and wealthy in life, take responsibility for your actions and see them through. Be committed to your goals. Learn to react appropriately. Adapt to change and overcome challenges. As the saying goes, action speaks louder than words. Let your actions justify the investments that will define your success. And lastly, set a good example and leave a worthy legacy. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this.